In this video we're looking at odds and increments and in particular we'll be looking at what happens if we open all our trades with the same level stakes. We'll be looking at what happens to the profit at different odds. Okay let's go on and have a look at that. Let's just clear one point up first before we go any further. If we bet level stakes at increasing odds we all know that the profit goes up each time and there's a nice simple rule to all that which we're all very familiar with but to carry that principle through into bet and lay trades is a mistake profit from bet and lay trades just doesn't work like that now if we look at bet and lay trades that use the same opening bet stake the same bet odds and uh, trade one tick lower to equalize you see that the profit appears to be quite erratic it's all up and down and some profit is duplicated even at bigger odds for instance the odds for trade 10 there are a hundred times bigger than the odds at trade 2 but the profit is the same these duplications are quite a minor issue really what we really need to concentrate on is what is going on in the background here to cause this pattern of profit then we can come up with a, a rule or two to explain it I would expect that by the end of this, this video you'll be able to come back to this and you will understand why we, why we get this up and down profit for our bet and lay trades in this spreadsheet we've got two lists of bet fair odds and I move the lay odds one tick lower down so we've got bet odds one tick bigger than lay odds so we can work some calculations out in these columns using trades of one tick this column here simply takes that from that so gives us the size of the increment and they're copied all the way down the sheet so that we can see what the size of the increment is all, all the way down for one trade in one tick. Column A simply numbers our trades so that we can keep track of where we are all the way down the columns later on in the video. If we go down the column down the sheet you can see the increment size changes at odds of 2 from 01 to 02 and at odds of 3 from 2 to 5, 4, from 5 to 10, and so on down the, sh down the sheet. 10 to 20 at 6, 10, 20, 30, 50, 100, and it's at 10 pounds now, all the way down to odds of 1,000, down at the bottom. A massive difference between a penny at the top and 10 pounds at bigger at the really big odds column E shows a profit that we get if we bet ten pounds at each of the bet odds so if we bet ten pounds at 101 we win 10 pence at 102 we win 20 pence and so on down all the bet odds you're all extremely familiar with this you've had a lifetime of increasing profit for increasing odds all nice and simple this graph shows a profit from the first 100 bets all numbered along the bottom there and the profit in pounds over the side there and the, the first 100 bets are odd, with a tick of 01 take it up to odds of 2 so we win £10 for our £10 bet against bet number 100. All nice and straightforward, a nice straight line. If you don't already know the odds where the increments change, you need to remember 2, 3, 4, 6, 10. That is where most of your trades will take place. Very important, those numbers. This graph here shows the first 200 bet profits from column E you can see them highlighted there and you can see where the increment changes take place it starts off 
with them all increasing at a, a steady rate of uh, 0 0.01 per, per tick and then you can see it changes at odds of 2 just there and at 3, 4, 6 and uh, that it carries on like that right up to odds of 1000. You can see as the increments increase the steepness of the straight line goes a bit more vertical each time. I'll just adjust that and put that up so you can see all all the odds up to a thousand. And that is what the graph looks like if we've got odds in from oh, 1.01 at the bottom there to rate number one up to odds of a thousand. This curve gets steeper and steeper as the increments get bigger. Now we'll take a look at some e profit from equalised stakes and you'll see that the graph doesn't look anything like that one. So it's no, no use whatsoever carrying this idea of bigger odds means bigger profit into betting later trades. Now we can see that I've added two columns here. That is it. Stake required to equalise if we bet at the bet odds and then later equalise at the lay odds. So that's the stake and that column there is a green up profit each time. Now it looks as if we're earning the same profit but if I increase the decimal places you'll see that there's a slight difference every time and you can see immediately that as we increase our bet and lay odds the profit from the the profit from the trade goes down a little bit each time. Now if there were no increments changes on the way up to odds of a thousand that would continue declining right up to odds of a thousand. It would keep going down and down and down. But the increment changes change all that so we get a very interesting graph when we make a graph of that column. So let's have a look at that now. so that you know what to expect from the graph. I've just moved down the spreadsheet a little bit and you can see the green up profit is gradually declining up towards odds of 2 and it gets almost down to uh, 0.05 and then when there's an increment increase it jumps up to 1, 0.1 rather. So there's a, there's a decline and then it jumps up and then it carries on down again look. So let's have a look at the graph a bit further up. I've got the first 150 odds in this graph. So that's the first 150 trades down the, down the spreadsheet. And you can see that it starts at odds of 101, which is trade number one, and goes up to trade number 154, I think it was, something like that. Sorry, row 154, that's trade 150. And there's a there's a, a downward slope as it goes for, as the odds increase from 101 up to odds of two, then it's it's jacked up just like an earthquake, and uh, then it, it starts going down again if it was a hillside, and it hits odds, odds of three the next increment change, and it's jacked up again, and then after that it goes down again and so on right up to odds of a thousand. So we'll put the whole graph in now. And there is the whole graph. Now that's what I call an interesting graph. We can see we start off at odds of 101 here with quite a low profit. And it, there's, a, there's the decline down the hillside. And then it's jacked up at odds of 2. It slopes down again. Odds of 3. Slopes down again. Odds of 4. Same again. 6. 10. 20, 30, 50, 100 and then once it gets to 100 there's no increment change so it just carries on down the profit carries on down all the way to odds of a thousand. Now you may not have been aware of it but you've been working with that ever since Betfair was invented. So if, if you feel like something's holding you back there could be a reason for it in amongst this, in amongst what you'll see here. 
and you, we don't have to be negative about all this there are some positive points to come out of this graph but uh, there are certainly a few things that we need to be aware of so let's delve a bit deeper into that one and see what we can come up with You can see that in this graph I put a red line and I can move that line up and down like that. So if we if we line it up with a there's odds of two, three, four, six, ten. So that's the tops of those peaks there, two, three, four, six, ten. If we line it up with the top of odds of four, which is the lower end of the four to six range of odds. You can see that the downward, it hits the downward slope just there, look. If you keep your eyes on this little blue blob here, I'll make it go along with my arrow keys on my keyboard. And it hits odds of 2, and the profit jumps up. Then it's a downward slope to odds of 3, and it jumps up again. Then it gets downward slope again up to odds of 4. And it jumps up again as the increment grows, gets bigger. And then where it hits the downward slope there on that red line. And also where it hits the red line again further on, on that downward slope. The profit at that, those two points is exactly the same. Even though the first part where it hit the red line first there is down at odds of 4.2, 4.3, somewhere around there. And up here it might be up to odds, odds of 10 because we're in the range 6 to 10 here. So it might be up in uh, 8, 8, 9, 9.24, something like that up there. So that's why you're getting duplications of the same profit but at, at different size odds. So if you were trading down here at odds of 4, and you decided to make a bit more profit by increasing your odds up to this range here somewhere, you'll be hitting this um, scenario here where you wouldn't actually be getting anywhere. Your profit wouldn't be increasing for the same size stakes. And if you was to be way, way up in the, in the big odds, it, you get the same profit there as well. So you can see where this this is the cause of the duplications of profit. Now it won't bother you, um, we're not likely to be trading odds up in that big range there, but down in the fours and fours and fives, six, seven, eight, nine, up the tens and all that, you know, that sort of area, you need to be aware of this, that your profit will, will be going down as your odds increase. And you could, if you could jump up an increment, you could be trading for the same profit or less if you're using the same stake. So if you're betting within your comfort zone with the same stake all the time, you need to be aware of what's going on in the background with your profit. Okay. Now that looks very complicated, but unfortunately, but unfortunately that happens in every Betfair market, whether we like it or not. Now if I increase the bet stake, or in just increase the staking, it makes absolutely no difference to what happens here. So if I put the bigger stake in up there, say 100 instead of 10, you'll see all that will happen is that this scale will change, the pattern of the, um, the graph will stay exactly the same. So here we go, I'll press it now. Now look, all that's happened is the scale has changed to accommodate the, the bigger profits down this down this column G there and the pattern is exactly the same so I'll put it back to 10 and you'll see it will stay exactly the same so you get this strange carry on so you get this strange um, same profit at, at, even though you've increased your odds and um, just changing your stake size won't make any difference to what happens then in the graph there This is another graph a bit further down my sheet and all I've done is add some grid lines here so we can see uh, a little bit easier where um, 
we won't get an increase in our profit if we trade at bigger odds, maybe. So you can see quite easily that all, anywhere where two downward slopes are, the, are on the red line, for instance, or any of these other lines, you will get a, a, the same profit even though you go up and trade in a bigger increment range. And once you get down, down further down the below odds of three, um, there's just a slight duplication there. That's two, three, four, that's four, sorry, four and six. So once you get down to three, it doesn't hit the downward slope above. Now you must remember then that if you're trading within the same increment range and you increase your odds, your profit will go down for the same stakes. And if you go up an increment range, you need to be aware that if it's four or above, you could be increasing up to a, the next increment range and not making a bigger profit than, than you are making at the lower odds. So that's what we're up against when we're trading odds movements in Betfair. In this last graph, I've converted it to a, a bar graph so that you can see each individual trade represented by a vertical blue line. So now if we move the red line, you can see where each downward slope coincides on, on the red line. And we just move it up a little bit. This, there are the odds, increment changes two, three, four, six, ten, and look at that one, twenty, all of that slope there is duplicated down at ten. Absolutely amazing. If I put it on the top of ten there, it hits the top of twenty, and if we put it on, on the, the bottom of twenty to twenty-nine, all of it just to the left hits the slope of ten up to whatever that is. Absolutely amazing. And of course it's a downward slope up above the, on the way up to a thousand there. Okay. So what can we do about that? Here's a a couple of notes you might care to read. And those notes might help you with your trades. I'll just leave those on for a while while you have a read through. I've added another note here about a duplication that happens right at the lowest odds of all. The ones right at the bottom are duplicated in the odds range of 204 up, up to th odds of 3. And we'll just have a look at that. I, I put that on the graph. All it is is this, this the whole of this slope from 2 to the bottom of th three odds of 3 is duplicated right at the bottom of there from the first trade about way along. And I've highlighted those in purple and I've highlighted uh, plenty of other duplications, all these up here in different colours so we can pick them out. So there's the, there's the upper end of that uh, duplication there, that's that part of that slope there. And if I take it right to the top, you can see it in purple, that's up there. So it's that starts at zero, Double, double nine zero and goes up to odds of one four nine 
at 0676 so we can look for those numbers there further down 090 to 0676 there's the duplication in column G so I've colour coded other duplications there's some orangey pink colour they duplicated th those odds there up at 8 that's odds of 4 up at 8 some green ones in odds of 6 and 7 they duplicated further up the odds of 15 and 16, 17, 18 and the orange ones they duplicated four times some of those those in the they've got got a box around them they duplicated four times so if you look at those starting with 0.5 up to 4167 45 up to 4167 0.5 up to 4167 and 0.5 up to 4167 all within those four ranges some pink ones there those grey ones there they are duplicating in these pink ones those 6667 to 5263 there 6667 to 5263 but all this bit from 1 to 5263 is duplicated straight away below there so that's why I've put all that in pink and left the other bit in grey that's, that could be pink as well if you wanted okay so that's all the duplications highlighted apart from the end bit also above 3 from there 1667 everything down from there up to odds of a thousand is duplicated somewhere that's what all that yellow column shows there we go and I put a, put a line there where it gets to one pound of profit and it there's a one pound profit there look so all th all that means is that the whole of this slope I've highlighted that in yellow so everything all of these other slopes all the way down here all hit this slope with the red line so I'll move the red line down it goes all the way down there right down to there so everything from there upwards is duplicated down that, that final slope there okay I hope that makes sense and I hope it doesn't complicate things too much for you but it's better to know what's, how things work rather than just, just uh, play it by ear not knowing anything you wouldn't drive a car without knowing what the engine was doing I don't think if we return to our 10 trays from earlier in the video we can now explain what's happening to these profits that originally looked quite erratic now we can see we started at odds of 2 and increased our odds for the next trade up two increment ranges up into up into four to six range so profit went up okay but then the next two were within the four to six range and at bigger odds so the profit went down both times and then we increased into the next increment range at the bottom end of it and our profit went up and eight two is within the range six to ten so that was bigger odds within the same range so the profit went down and then we increased in up to the 10 to 20 range and our profit went up but then we had another trade within that range and the profit went down again and then the next one was although it was up in the 20 range it was duplicated the same as uh, the odds at 10 and a half so we got the same profit there and then this was just the odds at 410 were just an example of how we could get oh, odds of 100 times bigger than 4-1 up at trade 2 and yet finish up with the same profit so I hope that all drops into place for you now and 
we've got some rules that we can that we know we can apply now if we place bets all of the same size and we equalize at bigger odds within the same increment range our profit will go down rather than up and equalize equalizing at bigger odds at a higher increment range won't guarantee a bigger profit So you need, we need an organised approach to our staking to overcome these difficulties, a staking plan, which usually means, of course, we need to adjust our stakes up and down according to what, what profit we'd like to make. A regular trader probably won't need a staking plan because they'll probably be making enough good trades to overcome the occasional one or two bad ones. But if you're just an occasional trader like I am, um, it might help a little bit to just uh, adjust stakes according to where our profit is at the time. So let's have a look at what we'll be looking at in the next video. In the next video we're having a look at first stake sizes. We've been having a look at comfort zone trading so far where we might use the same stake every time or guess our stake. But in this next video we'll be looking at the first stake sizes required for to trade one tick for one pound profit at different odds okay so i hope you found that interesting and if if you'd like to see more of the nuts and bolts of betting later aids why not subscribe to my youtube youtube channel betting Lay. okay i look forward to seeing you next time in another video or two Thank you very much for watching and good luck with your betting and laying.